another adventure done. Wait, who is this? Grim, what is going on here? Grim's dog party? Oh my goodness. Oh geez, Grim, we need to have words. Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Showcase where today we are going to be introducing some cute new little dog friends into our Minecraft world. Grim, are you excited? I thought you might be some new playmates for you. So this mod actually introduced 10 brand new dog breeds, sizes, shapes and behaviours as well as some new items and different ways to look after your little dog friends. So for now Grim, I'm going to keep you in here and we are going to go and check out these brand new dogs and I'll introduce you all at once. So inside this chest right here are the 10 different breeds and we'll go through all of those. Uh, let's actually go through all of those right now. So let me grab all of these. There we go. 10 in total and we are going to start off with the Welsh corgi which is kind of like a short little dog and here we go oh it's so cute it's so cute look look how cute that is so all of these are different special models and behaviors they can either sit lay down run or when you've tamed them they can go back into houses and um, they will actually obey you as well which is really really cool but at the minute this is a wild corgi so we need to tame it and the way you do that oh geez it's fast look how fast they are they all have different characteristics as well so for example some of the bigger dogs are a little bit slower but they're a little bit more powerful and i'll show you all the stats as well so to tame a wild new dog you need a single minecraft bone and then oh geez you need to try and catch them first look it's laying down oh it's so cute so yeah right click and you will get a random name and also a random gender as well and the genders work so that you can make puppies because obviously a female and a female can't have a puppy but a male and a female can and you'll get given a random name but you can also choose one as well but we're just gonna we're just gonna stick with zoe just for the sake of time and there we go zoe is now our little pooch how cute is this little corgi so now we want to know oh geez she's so fast she's so fast we want to tame this little dog so we are going to need one of these which is a dog whistles and all it requires is three single iron ingots in a diagonal pattern either like this or like this and this you can use to control its behavior so let's right click with the dog whistle and you also get the stats and where it came from so this was an egg born welsh corgi it has an attack of two health four, speed nine which is very very quick and a recovery of seven as well so when it's back in its house it can actually recover health so that's another way to kind of uh heal them rather than just giving them food so at the minute she's on the roam option but now we can go to stay where she'll just do a little sit and then we've got a lie down where she'll lie down and be all cute and then we have follow as well which is just a normal kind of minecraft dog follow come on zoe come on look at little legs work oh geez that is super cute but let's make her um let's make her lie down and you can also apply these, which are dog houses. And to craft one of these, you can actually craft, like, I think it's about six different ones. And you just use the different colored woods. So instead of this birch wood house, you could actually make, like, a spruce wood house, a normal oak wood house. But just replace these woods with different ones. For now, though, we're doing the birch wood planks. You need all of these. So you need seven in total, a bone and a bowl. And you can create a dog house. And then you place it in the world just like this. Let me just show you how that works. Let me just grab this dog house. And you just place it down like this. It only takes up one block of space. So that's not too bad whatsoever. And then when you've created it, you can right click it and then assign a dog to it. So let's assign this dog house to Zoe. And then it has a cute little sign just to remember which one is which. And then we can send her to her dog house. So we can do this wherever we are and we will always find her. And I think this does it when they die as well. So when they run out of health, they go automatically and respawn back at their house so that they don't officially die. Which is quite cool because in normal Minecraft, you lose a dog it dies and you get really really sad so this is kind of a way to just keep your dog with you so let's go to go home and she would seemingly disappear but really she is just snug as a bug inside this house so if we just right click the house out she comes again and then we can send her home again if we grab the dog whistle so let's put her in our house there we go and let's move on to the next breed which is the doberman whoa this dog is pretty big. Look how cute its eyes are, though. Oh, that's cute. That's super cute. I love its ears. Oh, man. All these models are really, really cool. So let's grab a bone, and we can tame this guy or girl. It might be a girl. You never know. Hey, come here. Come here. There we go. It is a girl, and she is going to be called Honey. There we go. So we need to assign a house to Honey. Let's go for a dark wood house. We're going to go Honey there. Oh, I like how it matches the sign up as well. That's really, really cool. 
And then we're going to send Honey to her house. So actually, let's go for a follow to see. Oh, yeah, she's quite tall, actually. Let's have a look here. Just compare it to the size of us. Yeah, she's pretty cute. I like that. Okay, you're going to be sent to your house. Get out of here. Right then, next one is the Beagle. Another cute little dog. Let's tame this one. Another female? Are these all females from eggs? Let's go for... Um, Sandy, because she's kind of sandy colored. So there we go. This is Sandy the Beagle. How you doing? They all have the same behaviors and stuff like that. And let's send her to this house here. And then at the end, we'll get all of them out and then start a little bit of breeding as well, just so I can test that out. Right then, get home, go and just chill out. You'll be super, super comfy in there. Next up, Chihuahua. Probably one of my favorites in this mod. Look how cute. It's tiny. It's so tiny. <laughs> right, let's tame this one. We've got Fifi. These are all females. Hopefully, we get a male. Otherwise, we are going to be in major, major trouble. So, Fifi, the little chihuahua, is going to have this house right here. So, Fifi, I'm going to have to send you home, I'm afraid. Go home. There we go. Get out of here. And they will have different stats as well. You can pause the video to see all their different stats. Uh, right there, next one is Dalmatian. Look at this. I think they might have different coats as well. Uh, yeah, look, look, look. This one's got brown spots. This one's uh, a lot whiter and has kind of like light brown spots as well so let's tame this one this one's princess <laughs> is there a male over here are they all females there we go rex finally we have ourselves a male so we've got rex and we also have princess now i might as well show you the breeding right now who's this by the way Bailey. Let's get you to sit down, Bailey, so you don't get in the way. So yeah, we're going to try out the breeding right now. They're both laying down very, very nicely, and all you need to do is feed them any kind of meat. So I'm going to feed them two little bits of chicken. So are they going to love this? Hello? Hello? Are you going to love the chicken? Right then, chicken and chicken, and let's see if it works. Here we go. I want to see some cute puppies up in here. No? That they're not doing anything. Rex, come on! We need some puppies, some cute little puppies. Is it because she's not Let's go for... Oh, she is roaming. Go on. Make puppies, please. I think sometimes it takes a little bit more time than normal Minecraft dogs. Wait. Wait. There we go. <gasps> Look how cute that is. Oh, geez. And it follows the parents as well. Treyos, there's more dogs around here. You need to be very, very careful. You're going to have to pick up the mess if they do anything. Where did, where did the Dalmatian go? Grim? Where did the Dalmatian go? I've lost one. I've lost one. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Let's not think about that for a second. But let's think about the cute little puppy... Look how cute it is. Oh, my goodness. Do we have to tame it? Oh, it's already tame. I guess it will grow up and then be tamed to us. Oh, that is so cute. So you can do that with any kind of breeds in this mod, which is super, super cool. Right then, we need to get moving to a German Shepherd. This is a lot bigger dog, actually. I think there's one that's the biggest, but I'll get to that at the end. Another princess. We'll go with that, and you are going to be sent to... Uh, let's give... Oh, which princess is it? Oh, dear. Let's send princess to this house. I don't know which princess it is. Is it you? Yeah, it is you. Okay, get in your house. I don't know how she fits in there. This is only a tiny little house. <laughs> right then, on to the Great Dane. Oh my goodness. This dog is ginormous. Look how big that dog is. I think Great Danes are one of the biggest domestic dogs in the world. So I guess that makes sense. And we're going to tame you. And you're going to be Rover. Rover, are you going to be able to fit in one of these, are you? Let's see. Rover, you go in there. And let's see. Yep, he fits in there. He fits in there, all right. <laughs> so you have a great day. And we have three more dogs, which I'm going to quickly show you right now. We have the St. Bernard, the Labrador, and the Siberian Husky. So Siberian, nope, that's a St. Bernard. That one's pretty big as well. Look at the size of this one. He's all big and fluffy. <laughs> Cute. And then we have the Labrador and the Siberian Husky. Look at the tail on the Husky. That one's really, really cute and cool. I like his eyes as well. Eyes are super, super blue. So what I think I'm going to do is we've got a male um, St. Bernard. Let's see if we can get another puppy up in here. This is a female. Yes, it's Coco and Patch. Coco and Patch, I need to introduce you to some chicken. Go on, make a baby St. Bernard for me, please. It takes a little bit longer than normal Minecraft. Oh, this puppy's just running around. It's so cute. But I really, really like this mod. It's probably one of the best up-to-date dog Minecraft mods. Because you can, like, keep them in the house as well. Especially, like, when they die. That means that they don't die forever. I really like that feature. And if they do get hurt out and about on the adventure... Oh, jeez, that's so cute. Look how cute that is. <laughs> so yeah, if they do get hurt out and about on their adventure, if you just send them home, they will start to regenerate, which is really, really cool. And I think that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. It's got dog houses, dog whistles, and I'm sure they will update very, very soon with more breeds. Now, if the mod creator is watching this, please, please can we have pugs? 
Please, can we have pugs in this mod? I really, really would love that. That would be awesome. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you do want to check out this mod, which I'm sure you probably definitely will, to put into your own Minecraft game, to maybe even have your own dog in real life replicated in Minecraft. Thanks for thanks for photobombing my outro. Thank you. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, then please leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And also, if this happens to be the first video seen by me, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. Again, thank you for watching. I'm going to play with all these amazing dogs and puppies. They're so cute. Anyway, thank you so much again for playing some Minecraft with me today. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.